Food poisoning from vegetables affects more people and causes more hospitalizations than those from meat. A fruit or a vegetable has its natural defenses. As a consumer when storing produce, I should always be careful that it hasn't been damaged or the skin broken. Because that's an open door for bacteria. We are more concerned about, indeed, enteric bacteria and viruses. There is no zero risk, in fact, when it comes to food safety. And it's precisely to further minimize those risks that European researchers are working in unusual places, like this salad processing factory near Bremen in Germany. Around 100 tons of vegetables are processed here each week, including 20 tons of its prime product, Lolo Bionda lettuce. For the factory's managers, the big challenge is to provide their customers with a fresh, crisp and safe product without food additives. We keep the salad chilled so that it maintains a stable temperature so it can't expand and shrink. This way we can guarantee that the product is firm and crisp when it gets to the customer. Our challenge is that the shelf life is short from three to five days depending on the product and we'd like that shelf life to be longer. For salad, for example, it's important that it stays firm for a long time, that it keeps its consistency and its crunchiness. Same for the carrot. We don't want it to become flabby and lose its taste. So, how are all these challenges to food safety faced and where? Scientists from a European research project are working to guarantee the freshness and safety of packaged fruit and vegetables. The first step involves sensory analysis of the produce. Its appearance, texture, taste and smell vary depending on how long it's been packaged. The packaging material and method are also factors. We've shown in our research that not only the time of storage is important, but also the temperature at which it's stored, the humidity. Did the atmosphere change? This is often the case with salads. Also, is the salad vacuum packed? All this has an influence on the sensory attributes. In most cases, these are appearance, texture and smell. Chemical and microbiological analyses help researchers understand how the packaged vegetables behave over time and in which ways microorganisms or unwanted byproducts eventually change or not the quality and safety of the produce. We can help the salad farmers deal with the raw material, for example with the appropriate packaging or with the package procedures, how to package a salad in the right way. The data obtained has helped develop web-based software that estimates the effect of each production step on the quality and safety of different kinds of fresh vegetables. Our aim is to develop a software which will be as user-friendly as possible. We want companies to optimize their processes through predictive modeling, but in an easy way. So we're working to develop a platform that companies can use without special training on the software itself. Companies don't need a lot of support to use this software.
The software allows me to work faster. If there's a problem, I can have a simulation and the program can show me where the problem lies and also what I can change, which components, which methods, so that the final product is fresh. With the help of the software, we hope to be able to put into place a new processing formula in a faster way. We also hope that our products will remain tasty for a longer time and have a longer shelf life without adding preservatives. But food safety faces many other, more complex challenges, such as climate change. Why and to what extent is it a factor? To understand more, we've come to southern Spain. Around one million kilos of salad are grown each season at this huge plantation, especially spinach, rocket and lettuce. It's an ideal open-air laboratory for researchers trying to understand if and how climate change affects crops. If existing climate change models are right, southern Europe will face significant water scarcity. And scientists want to know in which ways that will affect the quality and safety of produce. We've come to the conclusion that 25% less water during irrigation can in fact be beneficial, both to the environment, since you're using much less water, and to certain vegetable products, as they have a much longer shelf life. Water scarcity, researchers believe, could eventually be compensated for by a number of actions whose effects are currently under scientific scrutiny. You can find species more resistant to water scarcity. You can also develop different nutrients. You can, for instance, add more nitrogen to the product so it can maintain a good quality. And we're studying if alternative water sources can eventually be used, like water from treatment plants. We are trying to see if vegetables irrigated with this water would be safe enough and have a good shelf life. Scientists also want to understand how pathogens, toxins, pesticides and other factors affecting vegetable safety and quality, both pre- and post-harvest, evolve in a changing climate. Drier in southern Europe and warmer or more humid in northern Europe. We thought that the more humidity, the better for both quality and safety of the products. But now we know that humidity helps the survival of certain pathogens. So we're advocating reducing the extreme air humidity a bit, below the 95-96% of what it is now during the processing of these products. So, where and how is this research being done? Here at Ghent University in Belgium, researchers focus, among other things, on how moulds in fresh tomatoes might evolve under extreme weather conditions. So due to the climate change, we saw higher temperatures, so molds can uh, develop uh, faster and then also be linked to mycotoxin production. Yeah. But um, luckily, the molds that we investigated, these alternaria molds, are also limited in uh, temperature, uh, maximum temperature. So if the temperature is going above 25 to 30 degrees, they stop growing. So we have like a kind of a compensating effect as well due to climate change. Further research is necessary, scientists think, to accurately assess the complex impact of emerging risks, like climate change, on the safety of fresh products. It will impact, yes, uh, but we cannot predict exactly in a quantitative way, so that it, it's a complex issue of several factors, climate, the plant physiology and the variety, uh, the environment, 
but also the microorganisms, they will adapt uh, to it and there are some positive effects uh, on adaptation, there might some negative effects from climate. So what will win at the end is the combination of both of them. And it should not always be negative because in the northern countries, they will have longer seasons maybe, so they will have more opportunities uh, to grow some fruits and vegetables. And the researchers conclude increased vigilance related to the use of water, hygiene requirements and effective packaging and storage will be necessary to take the safety of fresh food products to the next level. It's a pity that you cannot define what is safe. It keeps on raising the bar. This is safe and then, and also the countries, what I define safe is not safe for you. The more we understand the production process, the better the quality and safety of the produce that gets to the consumer. We should always be aware and watch out about new uh, evolutions, new threats like changing climate or globalization. So keep alert um, and reinforce, especially on training and awareness. Thank you.